so this is the new flow control trainer uh, built by EMA. And uh, here's the setup. We essentially have a centrifugal pump. Uh, it takes suction from this tank, delivers through a flow meter, through a flow transmitter back into the same suction tank. Uh, we have a rotor meter calibrated from uh, 50 to 500 liters per hour and the flow transmitter is rated at 0 to 600 liters per hour. Uh, here is the output from this flow meter. It's a three phase or rather it's a three wire current telemetry system. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to give it power like so. Plus goes to the plus, the minus goes to the minus and this is the signal output because this is a three wire current telemetry system and it goes there. Right, uh, we also need to complete the loop like this and we could also we could also meter this input signal but in this particular demonstration I am just going to put a loop like this here. If you want to measure the current then you can pull out any one of these jumpers and put a milliameter in series with the system. As you can see the display has come back to zero. Right, uh, now with our set point at 400, with our set point at 400, uh, we will connect this to the system which will immediately make my pump start. And when the pump starts, you will see uh, the rotor meter flow rising, the wheel, wheel flow transmitter trying to detect uh, the flow and that will be metered into the system here. So here we go. So there it is, the flow has gone to more than 500, uh, the flow is trying to settle down. As you can see, there is an inherent delay between the flow transmitter and the, the, the rotor meter because the flow transmitter is a wheel type flow transmitter. So it's gone through one period of oscillation and very quickly the flow has settled down to close to 400. Now this is because we put in the PID values here and it is optimized for this particular process. So I could change the set point. Uh, let me make the set point 350. Here the set point at 350, and then eventually it will go through a few oscillations and settle down at 350. So this is the first demonstration for a flow transmitter system. You can also track down the oscillations using the trend monitoring system. You can change the time axis by increasing the time based signal here. So a lot of features that you should acquaint yourself with by reading the manual. So here we go, now the set point is changed to 350, settle down at 350. I'll just revert this back to 400 and we can observe one more set of oscillation before the system sets down to the new 400. As you can see, there is even a calibration uh, learning lesson here. We have pretty much the same value detected by the flow meter and the PID meter. 